Hello children, how are you doing today? I'm going to pray for us to start the service. Thank you dear God for helping us come here to worship and please help us all, bless us all as we do the service. In Jesus name I pray, amen.
and one of them mm -hmm. is the helmet. Yeah. It is called the helmet of salvation. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Well, you know, I see soldiers when they go to war, they wear a big helmet. Yes. To protect themselves. Wow. So remember, when you, when you are saved, mm -hmm. we will have eternal life with Jesus Christ. Wow. Mm. Yeah, so you need to have your helmet on every now and then when you're riding your bike. Mm. Wow. You know, I'm going to wear my bike now. You wear your bike? No, <laughs> I'm sorry. You're not going to wear my bike. I said, wear my helmet on. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Purity from Sitam Buruburu. I'm so excited to see you today and to take us through today's lesson for age five and below. But first, let us pray. Let's put our hands together, close our eyes, and pray. Dear Jesus, thank you for waking us up today. Thank you, Lord, because in your word you say, Let the little children come to me. We pray to help us to sit still, to listen to your word, and to know how to come to you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Let us begin by reminding ourselves what we learned last Sunday. Please share with whoever is sitting next to you, whether it's your mommy, your daddy, your brother, your sister. Tell them what the teacher teaches last Sunday. Mm -hmm. It is the armor of God, as we can see in this picture. And what does it have? It has the element of salvation, the breastplate of righteousness, the belt of truth, the shield of faith, the sword of the spirit, and the shoes of the gospel of peace. That's what we learned last Sunday. And today, I'm so excited that I will take us through one of the pieces of the armor of God. And we will start with the head. And that will be the helmet of salvation. Now, let us look at the picture. You can see a boy and a girl. And what are they doing? Very good. They are riding their bikes. Can we see what they are wearing on their head? Are they wearing something like this? Yes, that's what they are wearing. And this is an helmet. How many of us love to ride? Yeah, I can see some of us are smiling. And when we are riding, do we put an helmet? Let me ask, why is it important for us to wear an helmet when we are riding? We've also seen the motorists also wearing helmets. And we've also seen the people who build they also wear an helmet like this one. 
And I will also tell you something. The soldiers, they also wore an element like this. Why do all these people wear this element? Is it because they look nice? The most important thing is they need to protect their head. And we too need to protect our head. You know why? Because God made our head in a very special way. In our head is where we have our mouth, we have our nose, we have our eyes, we have our ears, and we have our brains where we think. And our head needs to be protected, not just physically, but also spiritually. And that is why today I will take us through the lesson of the helmet of salvation. And let us go to our Bibles. And our Bible story today comes from the book of John chapter 3, verse 1 to 21. And there was a man who was a Pharisee. His name was Nicodemus. And he came to Jesus at night. And when he got to Jesus, he called, Rabbi, which means teacher. We know you are a good teacher. And we have seen all the miracles that you have done. For no one can do such things if God was not with him. And Jesus told him, I tell you the truth, no one can get to the, no one can enter the kingdom of God unless he is born again. Hmm, born again? Nicodemus thought, how can an old man who could be a father of a boy and a girl like you watching me become a baby. Then he asked Jesus, can an old man become a baby? And Jesus told him, for one to enter the kingdom of God, you must be born of spirit and water. And Nicodemus was still not getting it. And Jesus told him, He's not talking about the physical birth, but the spiritual birth. And Nicodemus still was not getting it. And he asked Jesus, so how can this be? And Jesus told him that one must believe in Jesus Christ. And he continued to tell him, for it is said in the Bible, in John 3, 16, for God so loved the world that he gave us his only son, that whoever believes in him will not perish, but will have eternal life. And now, you know what, boys and girls? Nicodemus got to understand what Jesus was talking about. Let us watch the clip and listen to the same and I will come back and we will share what we have watched. One night, a Jewish religious leader named Nicodemus came to visit Jesus to discuss some important things with him. He was a Pharisee. He did not want the other religious leaders to know that he was talking with Jesus. Nicodemus said, we have all seen miracles you do. We know that God is with you. Jesus said, I want you to know that you cannot enter God's kingdom unless you are born again. Nicodemus was confused. He asked, How is that possible? How can I go back into my mother's body and be born again? 
Jesus said, That's not what I mean. Humans can only give birth to other humans. But the Holy Spirit can give life from heaven. That's the kind of birth I'm talking about. Nicodemus was still confused. Jesus explained to him. God loved the world so much that he sent me, the only Son of God, to earth, so that the people who believe in him can be saved and have an eternal life. Those who really believe in him will not be judged in the future, but those who don't will be. The judgment will be based on the fact that the light of this world was right in front of them, and yet they did not have faith in it or believed it. They hate the light because they want to live in eternal darkness and commit the sins that are a part of their life. Those who want to choose the path of righteousness come into the path of light and do what God wants them to do. Boys and girls, what did you hear? Who came to Jesus at night? Yes, it was Nicodemus. And what did Jesus tell him one must do to enter the kingdom of God? Very good. One must be born again. And how do you get born again? It's by believing in Jesus in our heart. Now, boys and girls, I want you to know that God wants us to wear the helmet of salvation by receiving Jesus in our heart. And when we receive Jesus in our heart, he will protect us from Satan. How many of us want to make Jesus our friend? Let us put our hands together and close our eyes and pray. Dear Jesus, thank you for teaching us today of how much you love us. I invite you in my heart to be my Lord and friend. Protect me from Satan and help me to think good things all the time. In Jesus' name, Amen. And I know there are boys and girls that have been wearing this helmet of salvation. Let's pray for all those other boys and girls. Let's put our hands together and we pray. Dear Jesus, we pray for every other boy and girl that has already worn the helmet of salvation. Help them to remember to wear their helmet every day. Protect them against Satan. In Jesus' name, amen. Very good, boys and girls. Jesus is going to protect all of us from the Satan. And now, let us watch, let us say our memory verse. And our memory verse is from the book of John, chapter 3, and verse 16. The Bible says, For God so loved the world that he gave us his only Son, Jesus Christ, that whoever believes in him will not perish, but will have eternal life. Can we say that again? John chapter 3 and verse 16. The Bible says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only son that whoever believes in him will not perish but have eternal life. Thank you boys and girls for listening to me. I've been so excited to do this lesson with you. I want you to ask mommy and or daddy to give you the take home 
and do your coloring very well. And then you know what? You can take a photo of that, send to your teacher, to your children pastor, and you will see what you have done. Until next week, when we learn the next piece of the armor of God. See you, and God take care of you. And my bracelet, sword, and shield.